We are live at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport on the day after the power outage. As you see, lots of people in line hoping they're going to be rescheduled onto flights this morning after spending the night here at the airport. A lot of people finding out, though, they may not be able to get out until Wednesday or Thursday of this week because this is a power outage that impacted 30,000 travelers. And what we are hearing right now is the train that takes people to the concourses is not operating right now, and it will not be running until 10 in the morning. So passengers are having to walk the concourses, and that's taking additional time after a long night and a long maybe time on the tarmac. So again, the train is not working. It will be starting to run at 10 o'clock this morning. I want to bring in Jennifer Leslie now as people have been spending, you know, hours upon hours in the airport and missing flights and missing holiday time. They're wondering, what's, what's my right as a passenger? A lot of those questions we're hearing. Yeah, let's talk about the flight schedule first. Uh, the Passenger Bill of Rights passed about five years ago really doesn't offer any specific in terms of reimbursement. Uh, you know, they're not required to stick to their flight uh, plan. They don't have to put you up in a hotel. The airlines don't. But we do know that Delta says it will reimburse passengers who had to stay overnight in hotels last night. They're also waiving change fees for flights yesterday, today, and tomorrow. If you have to reschedule, they're also allowing for cancellations of those flights. And we know that there were 5,000 meals served to passengers who were stranded, stranded here, including Chick-fil-A meals. Chick-fil-A opened on Sunday, and the CEO, Dan Cathy, was down here to hand out many of those meals to passengers who stayed here at the airport. We heard stories of people who were on a tarmac for eight, nine hours. There are rules that are supposed to limit the time you sit in a plane when it's hot and they run out of sometimes food and drink. Talk about that aspect of the Bill of Rights. That's right. It's a four-hour limit. I've also heard three hours. So if you're on the flight stuck that long, then it's the airlines who can get fined. You don't necessarily get reimbursed or, or um, get anything as a passenger, but they're required to provide you food and water after two hours. And the entire time, they're uh, uh, they have to provide you with medical treatment if necessary and lavatories. All right.